next, it's a heavyweight collision between Mike Tyson and the youngest champion in UFC history, Johnny Bones Jones. One of the most unique strikers in the UFC today, John Jones, who has been a member of Team Jackson in Albuquerque, New Mexico, since 2009, and credits Mike Winklejohn for guiding the evolution of his striking game. John Jones, in his young career, has been incredibly successful against some of the very best fighters on the planet Earth. He is an immense talent. John Jones looking for a victory in the octagon tonight. He is the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Mike Tyson, who made his professional debut at 18 years old. Guided and mentored by Customato, Tyson at one time was the most feared man on the planet, and he truly has incredible knockout power. This guy is a dirty boxing specialist. Look for him to utilize the clinch and then employ dirty boxing technique, devastating uppercuts and elbows from close distance. Mike Tyson set to fight Johnny Bones Jones. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Jones is five years his elder. Tyson weighed in at 240 pounds. Jones will have a 13-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a look see do fighter. Only professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Endicott, New York, John Bones Jones! And now, to his opponent, fighting in the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron Mike Tyson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Our referee for this fight is Dan Mergliata. You ready? Here we go. go. Fight. Our fight tonight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Jones. Black trunks for Tyson. One thing to keep an eye out for in this fight is the wrestling and the takedowns of John Jones. John Jones can do it all, but his wrestling is quite special. Joe, you can hear Greg Jackson in the corner of John Jones reminding him to keep his hands up. A minute into the fight, Joe. And really, neither fighter has established himself yet. Yeah, neither guy has really stepped out yet. Both guys are trying to figure out their opponent's distance and timing before they make a move. He just missed with the right. That's, That's a, a beautiful one. Joe, he's looking for the one-punch knockout here. Jones with the jab. Just misses with the left. Looking for the takedown. Oh, nice takedown by John Jones. Not a lot of people realize that he was a Greco-Roman All-American and a junior college national wrestling champion.
Now he's in full guard. He escapes and he gets back up. Change of stance. Big hook to the head. And he's throwing that left hook with ill intention. He's got him thinking. He faints with the kick. Tyson got caught by that left. Looking for another one of those big right hands. Showing that punch. Oh, did he snap that kick? Beautiful body shot there, too. Big shots. Head kick. Thirty seconds. Strong jab. Final seconds of round number one. Round one, one comes to a close. The beautiful Brittany. Okay, now two, you ready? You ready? Go, Second go. round. Joe, there were a couple of good moments in that first round. That was a decent first round. It looks like they're just starting to find each other's range and timing, though. The reality of it is, Joe, Jones just continues to get better. No question about it. I mean, what he said is it's not just a boastful statement. He really does want to be the best in the world. The best in the world and the best of all time. Good straight left by John. Here's a look at the striking accuracy for John Jones, landing 59% of his strikes. Clean jab. He slips the punch. Nice knee to the body. Solid left by Jones. John Jones is continuing to punish that eye. Yes, he is. That's a good target for him. He sees the swelling, and it's going to impede his opponent's vision. Misses the takedown. That punch was blocked. Clean, straight punch. Under three now. Good jab by Jones. Joe, he has switched to the southpaw stand. Hit him hard with that hook. Wow! wow. Big shot. Joe, he's hurt. Oh, oh, oh. Big, Big shot, shot with the left hand. He's out. He's out. It Go. is all over. Beautiful knockout blow to finish the fight here. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. And let's take a look at the replay. This is the shot that drops him. Perfect technique. He's clearly in big, big trouble. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. And here we see it from a different angle. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by Knockout Iron, Mike Tyson! Mike Tyson, winner by knockout. up next it's a light heavyweight showcase between quentin rampage jackson and ultimate fighter winner sugar rashad evans
Sugar Rashad Evans, one of the best MMA wrestlers in UFC history. He became the third Ultimate Fighter winner to win a UFC title when he defeated Forrest Griffin back in 2008. Now, it is interesting to know that the other two men are Forrest Griffin and Matt the Terracera, who pulled off what is still considered the greatest upset in UFC history. Rashad Evans is an outstanding wrestler and an amazing athlete who has transitioned that to become the UFC's light heavyweight champion as well as winning the heavyweight division of the Ultimate Fighter. The owner of arguably the most vicious slam in mixed martial arts history, the man known as Rampage. For five years, Rampage was a superstar in Japan, and he's been outstanding during his UFC career, the highlight being when he earned the UFC light heavyweight belt. This guy's an arm bar and a leg lock specialist. In every fight that you see him in the octagon, he looks to secure a limb and finish with a submission. Jackson, ready to fight here tonight in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 36. Jackson is one inch taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC. Light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the back corner. A wrestler holding a professional record of 24 wins, 5 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Sugar Rashad Evans. And now he sees his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 11 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight world champion, Quinton Rampage Jackson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavigne. Eve Lavigne, our referee. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. Here we go. Three-round fight. White trunks for Evans. Black trunks for Jackson. Joe Rashad Evans, a Division I collegiate wrestler, very well-rounded, has good takedowns, good ground and pound, and has developed some decent striking as well. Well, he's a very, very good athlete, and one of the things about Rashad Evans is every time you see him, you see a new and improved version of him. He has improved dramatically with every single performance we've seen inside the octagon. He's really mixing things up tonight. Man, he was looking for the knockout there. Evans with a big leg kick. He hit him with the hook. Once again, a solid hook by Jackson. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Evans caught by that head kick. Rampage going to his bread and butter, the body shot. Good left hand. Oh, man, that late kick did some damage. Hard straight punch. Good combinations. He is going after it here. connect with the jab. Man, that right eye has really started to swell shut. Two minutes. Tries for a low single. 
first takedown of the fight. He's posturing up here. Big hammer fist. There's a left that connects. Huge ball from the top. Oh, we've seen it many times before. Rampage looking for the knockout. In full guard here. Oh, oh that's good a left big hand. left hand. A big connection by Rampage. Hard left hand. Trying to pass here. Posture's up. Twenty seconds. Back up. Wow! Big hey. power jam. Round one in the books. Rampage Jackson's ears are ringing from more than the bell that just saved him. He got stunned right at the end of that round without question. The beautiful Brittany. Are you ready? Are you ready? And we start round two. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. That was a brutal right leg kick, Mike. He's got some outstanding kicks. Evans is really starting to bleed now, Mike. Joey's doing a good job with those leg kicks. Nice hook to the body by Jackson. Huge leg kick. Hurt him with that uppercut. Powerful jab. Vicious combinations. Oh, that's a heavy body kick. <laughs> he was set up perfectly to block that hook. Joey's starting to build some momentum with those hooks. They're really starting to land. Couldn't agree with you more, Mike. Joe, he's really on point with his strikes tonight. He's going to look to land the hook again. The junior college national champion, Rashad Evans, with the takedown. Back on their feet. We've reached the midway point of this fight. Oh! Big shot. He's in oh! big trouble. Oh, that rocked him. Punch for the victory. Once again, here's our fight replay. And here in the replay, we see this huge left hand landing for the knockout. Let's look at it from a different angle. Here we see it again. And he's out. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. We play the winner by knockout, Quinton Rampage Jackson. Quinton Rampage Jackson wins by knockout.